Rapper the hallway. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Life made it five, back at it again, man. The realest one on the net, boss talk of business. What I'm about to say. Man, y'all know what to do, man. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Like these videos, share these videos. Don't skip no ads. Hit the like button. Let your friends know. Let your mama know, sister, everybody. All right, man. We're going to get right to it, man. Sad news to report. Like always, it seems. We got another rapper that lost his life to the game. PNB Rock, man. Philadelphia born rapper. How old is PNB Rock? Um, 30 years old, man. Young man. Young man. Lost his life in L.A. Man, I'm going to give you the little detail that's out so far. Now they're saying this happened in South Los Angeles at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Right on Main Street in Mitch Manchester. PNB Rock, real name Rakim Allen. All right, they say that. He was already in L.A. I forgot what the reason was. He had been in L.A. He didn't just show up. It was a reason he was there. I can't I can't recall what it was. But either way, him and his girlfriend, they go to Waffle House. And they're saying that he was targeted for this robbery. A man approached him with a firearm. You know, the man in his jury or whatever. And they didn't even say a tussle or a fight or if he... Or if he wasn't giving it up or anything like that, that's not being reported. What's being reported is that the man fired and hit him in his chest. And I'm not going to post the video up. You can go look for it. It's on YouTube. It's not hard to find. But it's a video of the, well, not of the whole incident, but the aftermath. And you can see PNB Rock laying on the ground, man. And. It seems like he was trying to move, you know, he was trying to turn himself over, but he just didn't have the energy for it, man. There was a lot of a lot of blood on the ground, man. It wasn't a good scene, you feel me? And you could look at it and kind of tell that that thing was gonna go bad, you know. And here recently, man, you know, you've been having a lot going on in LA. A lot, man. You had the the incident with Quando Rondo and his his homeboy. You had the incident in R.I.P. Lil Pal. You had the incident with Pop Smoke, R.I.P. him. Who else? Uh, you had an incident with uh, Sauce Walker not too long ago. What was this, about two days ago? Which is a whole crazy situation within itself. That would call for me to do a whole other video. Y'all would have to go look that up. Because like I say, it's a whole it's, it's a whole story gone with that. But you had that incident. Right now, it seems like L.A. is just a no-go for rappers. I'm not going to lie to you. It seems like every time a rapper touch down out there, they target it. Or somebody know what's going on. Or somebody looking for them. But in this instance, and I, and I don't want to put the blame on her. I really don't because I know she's going through it being that that was her boyfriend. But you had a PNB Rock girlfriend who posted the location and all that. You feel me? Like... It's deleted now. She posted the the location of where they were going and all that on Instagram. And people, you got to stop doing that. Like, for real. Why why do people feel like they got to let everybody know their every move? You know, as soon as you click on Facebook, me and Bay at, 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 uh, at McDonald's, we hungry. Me and Bay about to go do some shopping at Walmart. Or, um... You know, we out and about, just walking around the fair, doing our thing, enjoying date night. You know, people don't need to know your business all the time. There's no need to post where you're going or what you're doing and all that. You know, back in the day, and even now, you hear people always say, you know, pay, what that, well, how that saying go? When people tell you, mind your business, you say, you say, um, how does that saying go? Mind the business that pays you. Yeah. Mind the business that pays you. People are so quick to say, stay out of my business. Don't worry about me and all that. But everybody runs to social media to post their business. Like you don't even know what's going on with somebody. But then you can go on Facebook and they'll tell you their whole life story. I'm single. If, 
If anybody want to know why I'm single, don't worry about it. Just know that I'm by myself and I'm independent and all that. Okay, cool. Or people post like like what she just posted. You know, me and Bay, we had chick, a Roscoe's chicken and waffles. You know, who wants to know that? You feel me? Who business is that? And this man got on, it, it looked like a million dollar worth of jewelry. You feel me? But you want to post where you and Bay finna go. And like I say, I hate to say that because I don't want, I don't want to make her feel bad, but. It's the truth. People have got to stop posting their locations. People really just need to stop posting on social media their business, period, you know? It don't turn out good for no one. People need to stop that, man. There's no need in it. There's no need in it. When the <coughs> yeah, that's basically it, man. <clears throat> that's basically it. You know, that's the, that's the whole point of this video. You feel me? Because I really feel like this this would have been awarded had not that location been posted up, you know. And and who knows, you know, God got a plan for everybody. Who knows what what woulda coulda shoulda happened, you know? Maybe she didn't post the location, maybe, maybe he'll still be here. Maybe, maybe he was targeted already. And people would just follow him and they just had to drop on him, you know, from from the get go. But then again, maybe they didn't, you know. But I know post the location show helped out. Because anytime you see something happen with somebody out, you know, the location will post it. Even with Pop Smoke. You know, they took pictures of their clothes and and uh, and the place they were staying at and all that. But just that, that that little picture on that suitcase, when you zoom in, you got the whole address. You feel me? So if a person not go pay attention to detail when they do snap the pic, just don't snap the pic at all. Don't say, don't post your locations. In this case, people need to take a page out of 6 9 book. You feel me? If you gonna post, post it three hours afterwards. You know, why when you gone or whatever. Don't post it while you're there or while you're on your way there. Wait till the next day if, if that would it takes and then post it. You know, that's that's the main reason why he ain't never been touched, you know, because I will say this, he knows how to move. He know how to make himself inconspicuous, you feel me? But I know she didn't do that with no intentions to hurt her man. I, I know, I know, you know, she didn't, she didn't want none of that to happen. I genuinely think that she didn't want none of that to happen. There's not nothing that she planned, but I know she loose back on it now, being that the post is deleted now. And she feel real bad about that. Because when I read it earlier, when I heard about him getting shot, I'm thinking everything going to be all right myself, you know, because wasn't nobody posting about it being just too bad until I went and watched the video. And, man, condolences go out to his family. R.I.P. P.N.B. Rock. Rappers, be be careful out here. Really, really watch what you post. That's to anybody. You ain't necessarily got to be a rapper. Anybody, just watch what you post. You don't got to let everybody know your, your every move or where you going or what you about to do. You feel me? Just think a little bit smarter, man, and value life out here because for a person to run in Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and the video I seen, all old witnesses in there, and then you got, you know, they got cameras in Roscoe's. And in L.A., you know, they got cameras that stop lights. And the businesses beside them have cameras. The businesses in front of them have cameras. Like, it's not going to take no time for whoever done this to get caught, you know. Because in this day and age, you're not going to commit no crime. Not like that in front of people and think you're going to get away with it. So it's just a matter of time, really, before they get caught. But if a person is willing to do all that... In front of everybody, you feel me? You got to really watch what you do, man. There's some crazy people out here. You know, I'm in Mississippi. Memphis is like 50 minutes from me. And two days ago, 
They had an active shooter in Memphis, just driving around, just shooting people for no reason. You feel, you feel, it was posting on Facebook and all that. Dude walking the auto zone, popping folks, just, just walking around, popping people. He got locked up, and then the next day, another person was doing it. You feel me? Like, it's crazy out here. It really is. So you have to be safe about how you move, famous or not famous. Because we all bleed. We all can go. We all got a, we all got a date to go. So just watch what you do. Watch how you move. Be careful. Stay dangerous. Move smart. Stop posting all your business. Be wide through the hallway, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Subscribe to a real one, man. And as always, men, hold up for your sh. Do what you're supposed to do, not what you want to do. And I'm out.